Hello everyone. All right. I'm going to be showing you a couple of bits out of my book here. You can draw brilliant pictures. Um, so it's an activity book and it shows you step by step how to do all these things. Things like things in nature, people, um, creatures, and basically the thing of it is just always use your eyes, use your brain and draw. So you're always looking and you're always thinking before you draw. So the very first page, which I'll go through when I'm drawing with you, is that you should always think about drawing like in lines and shapes and it makes it a lot easier. So but first of all, we're going to do an elephant. So here it is. We're going to be looking at how to draw an elephant. I don't know if you can see that. Has anyone tried an elephant before? <laughs> see, I'm going to go through it with you and try and draw it like this. It's step by step, but I'll just do it with you on the paper. We're going for, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Basically, we're thinking about the shapes and then adding up and adding up until it looks like an elephant. So, you ready? I'm going to turn you around so you can see my pencil. Okay, so here we go. Drawing an elephant. So I just need some paper. What you need is paper and some pencils. Maybe pens if you want to colour in or colouring pencils. So we just start by thinking about the basic shapes that are going to make up this drawing. So for the elephant I'm going to start off with the big round part of the body at the back and where the head's roughly going to be and I'm going to just plan it out just lightly first using basic shapes of circles and rectangles, some lines to join it up. It's always best to try and plan before you go harder with a pencil or, or use pen, just so you know roughly it's going to look right. So I'm just joining up the head and the body there. And I'm, going to, I'm doing um, a kind of triangular shape for the ear, the most important one of the most important parts of the making it look like an elephant and then I'm going to add a trunk so I'm just doing a curvy line there a bit like an S shape for the trunk <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to go over it a bit harder so I'm using my pencil pressing down a bit harder using those shapes to draw the shape of the elephant better. So I'm doing nice chunky big legs because I think that's what an elephant is like with big chunky legs. Do the back ones a bit smaller, hidden a bit behind the body. And I'm just making them a bit more I'm being quite free with the pencil really. So I'm not doing really straight lines or really curvy lines, I'm just kind of feeling my way around the page. For the head, I'm kind of doing here, can you see a like an angle for the top of the head and also the jaw here. So I'm doing like kind of ending up like a pentagon. Now filling in the trunk, just make it a bit wider. And then the ears. Just making it a little bit more curvy with the ears. Not the big flappy soft parts. And I'm just doing this curve here just to show the bit that goes in they can hear from. And then just put in the eye, just starting to fill in the details now. I'm just going to draw the trunk, uh, the tusk that comes out of its mouth. 
I'm just a big long tooth sticking out there and then I'm just going to go round it again and add the details so here's a little tail I'm just going to add a bit of shape here to show the shape of the leg and some nails, big toenails just have a look at pictures of the things that you want to draw before you draw them or just think about times when you've seen them in real life and just try and remember what is it about an elephant that looks like an elephant oh they've got really chunky legs, got big toenails just adding some creases here for the trunk and the knees. And I'm just going to add another bit of an ear behind, just to show that there's two ears there. That's about it, I think. I'm just going to add some water droplets. So my elephant's going to be spurting out some water and just a bit of shadow underneath. Just doing some lines, shading in to show he's got a big heavy creature. And then for this one, I'm going to use a pen to just go over it. You can leave it with pencil if you like. I quite like the softness of a pencil. You can go over it with a pen, whatever pens you have. I'm just using a kind of fountain pen because I like the thinness of it. So I'm just going to go over and lightly sketch over the lines that I'm most sure about. Doesn't have to be perfect, just to make it a bit darker. There, yeah, and when you're done, if you want, you can rub out the pencil lines underneath. I don't mind them being there. I quite like seeing how it was made. And then you can add some colour. I'm using some pencils. If you're using pencils, just start lightly. Just keep moving the pencil quite quickly and then as you go on you can add more layers on top, press a bit harder. I'm using grey with a little bit of pink for the ears. And then just at the end I'm just adding a bit more definition, some harder lines, I'm using a blue, like the water. And that's about it. Okay, got time for another quicker one. My popular demand, I'm going to do a shark. Slightly simpler shapes. I'm going to use some slightly different materials for this one as well. 
So, as before, you just need a piece of paper. I'm going to use a pencil. And I'm going to keep with pencil for the line this time. And I'm going to colour in with some felt tip pens. So let's start off with a basic shape. So for a fishy kind of thing, it's like two curved lines, a bit like a teardrop or an eye. That's it. And then I'm going to add the fin at the back, the tail fin, which is kind of like an arrow shape. Then I'm going to add the other fins. So I think the most important one for a shark is the top fin, which is kind of a triangle at the top, a bit longer at the front and a bit shorter at the back. You might want to do a curve. And then the ones at the bottom, just a couple there. Just keep it quite light at this stage while you're planning all the shapes. So, I'm going to do a sharp front. And I'm just drawing, thinking about where the teeth are going to go. I'm thinking, big wide mouth with lots of teeth. It's going to go about there. And I'm just starting to Go over the lines a bit stronger with the ones that I know are going to stay. I'm going to draw in some really sharp teeth, just a zigzag line going up and down, nice. Just going to add in a little eye, the shark's eyes are quite small, just a little dot and a nostril there, and the nose. Okay, that's about it for the outline. I'm just going to rub out a bit of the lines for the places where I don't want there to be a line. So the fins that are in front, just rubbing out the lines. And just here where the mouth is. Okay. I'm just going to add a bit of back background. So I'm just drawing a bit of the sea behind. You might want to add a boat, some fish, maybe something that's swimming after. Some little fish that's about to eat. Or maybe some clouds in the sky. So that's the basic outline. I'm going to leave it pencil and just start colouring in with some felt tip pens. Okay, I'm going to just take a pencil now. I'm going to go over some of those lines using coloured pencils. I'm using a dark blue here. I'm just going over to make it a bit clearer with a darker line.
And then I'm just gonna use a kind of pinky red for the teeth, just to make it look extra ferocious. Okay, that's about it. Pretty happy with that. How's yours? There you go, a shark. So that's just a couple of things today that you can draw. Keep practicing, keep looking, and most of all, keep having fun. See you next time.